Hi and welcome back to the Books Are Everywhere. Today we're here with a very exciting video because I have a very exciting delivery. I know this doesn't look like much but I've been waiting on these for a very long time and I'm very excited to show them to you. So these are the Nerdy Ink Throne of Glass Dust Jackets. I've been seeing these around for literally years on Instagram and I've always really wanted them, I've always been drawn to them but it's always felt like a very unattainable thing because I thought they were only a limited run which they were. <laughs> then I decided, I also thought I would never get the hardbacks of Throne of Glass, which I recently realised were actually more readily available than I thought they were. Hence, I now have the hardback copies of Throne of Glass, which is very exciting, and these are very heavy, but very beautiful, <laughs> and I love them a lot. They're currently stacked on the top of my bookcase because I don't have room for them, really. But I love them. I also have the paperback set, which I'm not getting rid of because I really love those too, and they're my reading set. I read these last year and I really, really enjoyed them. They're not my favourite Sarah J. Mars set. My fairy's favourite Sarah J. Mars set series is <laughs> A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I do really like these and I love these editions so much. So then I realised, weirdly, after buying these hardbacks, Nerdy Ink suddenly re released their dust jackets. The sad thing about this is that Nerdy Ink doesn't ship to the UK right now um, because partly because of Brexit, partly because I think the UK is just a bit difficult to ship to. So I did get my lovely friend Sophie who lives in America to send these to me. I bought them, sent them to her house and she sent them on to me. So thank you so, so much to Sophie for doing this for me. Not for the first time and letting me get something that I cannot get here. So today I thought I would take you through all of the designs for these dust jackets, put them on my books and then give you a kind of rundown of what they look like on the books. So let's dive right in and unroll these. I know that these are going to be very tightly rolled up and maybe a bit hard to get on the books and I probably should have weighted them down at first. But you know, I'm impatient and I'm very excited to have these so I'm going to try and get them out of this plastic. Okay, we have dust jackets. They are very tightly rolled dust jackets. But what I know about these is they actually have scored lines on where to fold them so hopefully it'll be a lot easier than putting these on that you can just about kind of see in the background which are my Illumicrate A Court of Thorns and Roses ones. These are so beautiful. They also smell really weird. <laughs> I thought this when I opened the parcel this morning. Like they smell so new and like um like printing I guess. They're so so pretty. Ah. Okay so we're gonna go through them in order. Not exactly sure if there's actually one for the Assassin's Blade in this set. Maybe that isn't, oh no. Oh well, we'll just have the Assassin's Blade separately. So, let's go through them. They all have, for a start, this map on the either side of the dust jackets, which looks like it's kind of cut in half and would match in the middle. Do you think I can try and get it to do that? Let's see. Yeah, it does, that's so cool. I think they all have the same kind of designs. But the map matches up and it looks like a butterfly. Never noticed that before. This is really cool. So it says all of the different regions in the Throne of Glass world and this is just so cool. I really like that. It's a nice touch. And then we have these beautiful iconic dust jacket design with the iconic spines that I just love. These are just absolutely beautiful. I'm not actually sure who the designer is in like other than Nerdy Ink um, but this is just so so beautiful. I think they all have different quotes on them on the back covers so this one says I give you this name to use when other names grow too heavy. I love that quote so much and I remember it in the book and I just love this and I love how all of the women are on the cover. Absolutely beautiful. I will give you some better views of them on that on the books as well. I think the maps are slightly different. They're different colours to match. Oh my god, that's so cool. They, they're different colours to match the colours of the cover. Oh, here's the Assassin's Blade. There is one for the Assassin's Blade. Yay! I love the Assassin's Blade so much. This is so cool. And I'm going to presume that this is Sam 
on the cover. These are so difficult to hold because of the rolling. But yeah, the map is the same, but it's now like got blue tones to it. And then the front cover is beautiful and the back cover that says the gods were dead or simply didn't care anymore. Yet there, deep in her gut, was a small but insistent tug. So, so beautiful. Love the spine on that one as well. I just love the detail on the front cover, honestly. There's like little stars on it that I don't know if you can see, but it's so, so pretty. And then of course we have Crown of Midnight, which naturally has these kind of red autumn tones to this. I love the colours in this. This is so autumnal. Really, really love the font as well on these, if I hadn't said. And again, we have these little stars on the cover, which I love, and the spine, which is so beautiful. And then the quote on the back cover that says, hide from fate all you like, but it shall find you soon. So I think the back covers are pretty much the same design. So the back covers have the same design, but I think the colours are slightly different on them. And they obviously have different quotes. Honestly, I can't get over the colours on these. They are so beautiful. So next we have Air of Fire, which has gone for these green tones. I'm going to say these are inspired by the hardback because this is the colour of the hardback so far. I love these green tones so much. They are beautiful. Like the colours on the dresses change on the back and then the person on the front cover changes. And the colours of the map and the spine as well change with each book. The quote on this one says, I wish you to become who you were born to be. So beautiful. Whoa, this one's really pretty. They're all so pretty. Every single one, I'm like, oh my god. So this one is for Queen of Shadows. And again, we have these beautiful red tones to them, but this one's a slightly brighter, not like um a dark autumnal red but more of a like bright red which I really really like and it works so well with the blue tones as well and this is just so beautiful this the lettering on this one I love so much on the spine and then the map also has like red and blue tones and the quote on the back says 10 years of shadows but no longer light up the darkness majesty so so beautiful and next we have Empire of Storms. Oh my god, the teal is so pretty. Oh my god, this is beautiful. That colour on the spine, I don't know how well that translates to like camera, but that is beautiful. And again, we have like greeny blue on the map and the cover. The Oh my god, that is such a beautiful cover. The pose on that, really lovely. And the quote on the back says, nameless is my price. These are just rolling up as soon, like as soon as I let them go. So we're just letting them do that. And then we have Tower of Dawn, which I can't get apart from Kingdom of Ash. There we go. And this is, <laughs> you might be shocked to hear because I feel like this is like Marmite for people. People either love it or hate it. It's my favourite Throne of Glass book, Tower of Dawn. I absolutely adored this because I love Kale so much. And this is obviously Kale on the front cover. Very, very happy about this. And oh my god, the map is different, which obviously it's different because it's set in a different continent. Let me try and fold this one so you can see it. So this has a map of the southern continent. How cool is that? I love it. And it's in the same kind of blue. The spine is lovely. And the quote says... It was hope that stood beside him, spirited across the earth by the gods themselves. So, so beautiful. And last but not least, we have Kingdom of Ash. How pretty. I'm disappointed in some ways that these aren't foiled because that would just be amazing. But honestly, they don't need to be. The colours on this are so beautiful. The yellows and the golds. This cover is lovely. I love it so much. Again, the lettering, beautiful. The spine, amazing. And the quote, just so beautiful. So the quote on this one says, fold it over like that, that's better. This is the back cover and the quote says, the odds were slim. And the quote says, the odds were slim, insurmountable. She had not been destined to escape this. She would not go quietly. 
she was not afraid and I love that I love this cover so much absolutely beautiful so glad I got these so so glad I got these I'm gonna try and put these on the covers now and then give you some shots on what they look like actually on the books um and then we'll have a look hopefully this won't be too hard because I'll obviously the lines are scored in either side of the dust jacket which is really really cool and I'll hopefully make this a bit easier that is so much easier so much easier than doing the Illuminate ones <laughs> hopefully this won't be too hard and obviously I will show you me putting these on so hopefully it goes okay and then I'll give you a point of view of all of the books and the covers and what they look like and we can go through those this video um i am enjoying this video i very much enjoyed unboxing these for the first time on camera because i've never seen these in person before and i hope you enjoyed that too um if you did please give it a like and comment down below if you want to see more videos like this hopefully there'll be some more unboxings coming up in the next couple of months because i have ordered a few things and if not they will appear in vlogs as well and subscribe to the channel to see more like this and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.